Okay, this will be an interesting one. It's a service that I used to think about using when I was young, but I don't need it anymore and I don't want it. We'll soon find out what it is and we'll see if we can make it look good. I don't know how big we're going to make this. I'm going to wait till we put it on the glass. It's an interesting thing. I don't know how, how well it works. It's been around for decades. Just wondering what colour we're going to use as a background colour for this. We're going with magenta. Okay, we're going all the way cold with hue. Okay, right, let's see what it is. It is, it is, da -de -da -de -da, Relationships Australia, New South Wales. Yep, I was hoping to use this back in the early 90s or maybe the mid 90s because I wanted to have a relationship with a man like a lot of people do, a lot of women do. And basically, yeah, it's going to be bigger than that. Basically, this is a service that's supposed to uh, help, or well, that's one of the things they help you with, is interpersonal relationships. Fortun Unfortunately, what I didn't know then was that I had someone that actually loved me and who was really kind and loving, and I didn't need that service. If only I knew. <sighs> Regrets. And basically, I just spent... Most of my time just fucking around, not fucking as in having sex, but just messing, just pottering around or doing doing things that were not really um, not useful. Very un. I basically had some relationships that were really bad because of my lack of knowledge about Luigi, the man of my dreams. So I was trying to find true love or, or at least find... I didn't actually care that it was love or just just a chemistry, you could say. I was pretty screwed up back then, so I was very desperate and I kept getting myself into trouble and shit like that with relationships that I was having that were not very wholesome. Now, that still needs to be enlarged a bit more on the horizontal, but it's not... It's not you know, I think it probably costs money as well for these, for services like this. So it's not something I have a great deal of. And yet there was Luigi who loved me and cared, cared about me, and I just turned him down because of some stupid, th stupid ideas that I had that were not real. So it's easy to get fucked up in the head when it comes to that, and to fuck, fuck everything up. I fucked up a lot of things. I've got nothing to be proud of, you know, guys and girls. But basically, yeah, I hate... I ended up... Whatever, I'm having trouble talking about this, folks, trying to get a clear idea of what I'm telling you about. Yeah. Fortunately, I'm, I'm in love with Luigi now and I want to make... I want to make a life with him once... Once I've done some things to get by. But anyway, that looks quite interesting. Uh, it's not quite what I like. Um, the red looks wishy-washy a little bit. So I'm wondering what colour's going to look better. I think we're going to make that our master copy. But yeah, it's, it's terrible how... And, and so many people are getting themselves into bad relationships in this day and age. Uh, people just don't feel good about themselves. They don't feel worth worthy. They just feel like shit, and it shows up in their relationships too. So it's easy to to fall into a bad relationship when you when you're down and out and vulnerable, and you just don't feel like anyone cares about you. You you feel bad about yourself. You seem to attract 
all sorts of bad company. And I've been there so many times, folks, in bad company. It's just not funny. It was a wonder I was never raped or even killed because of some of the situations I got myself into. So I'm not happy with my past. I'm not happy with what I did to my beautiful man, Luigi, who really cared. He wasn't in anything like those people that I that I had run-ins with. He just, he loved me for who I was and he was really patient. I'm now trying to get my life together in time to see him. So I'm wondering what we're going to do with this hue, if we're going to put it back to cold. Let's see how this looks. But it's really sad, you know, when people just lose the ability to to, to know where what true love is and to know what person you, you can trust and what person you just toss aside because it's easy to make big mistakes, big errors when it comes to relationships and these mistakes and errors can often be extremely costly, even at times deadly. If you get someone that's really got a psychopathic or some kind of obsession with you instead of it being true love if they just like just like the the old what's the word fatal attraction there's a movie called fatal attraction and I'm, I'm not I haven't ever actually watched it but I think that's what it's about love that's not love but love that is obsessive and really deadly like someone who would kill you if you if you didn't show them the love that they want or the so yeah there's, there's a lot of movies about relationships like that and that's one of them one of the really old I don't know when that movie came out whether it was the 50s or the 60s or the 70s but that's one of the well-known videos or should I say movies of that genre of that kind of subject matter and mark my words, you don't want to be in one of those relationships. You want someone who loves you, who you are, someone who cares for you. And then you've got to love them back. But you, it's got to come naturally, which for many decades it didn't come naturally for myself. It was almost foreign to me and it made me feel like shit. And I attracted all these nasty, nasty types that just, I just didn't like, you know, it's, not easy trying to find Mr. or Mrs. Right when when you're not functioning well yourself. So let's see how we go. That's it. It's not perfect anyway. There we have it. Relationships Australia reimagined.